unprecedented floods that claimed hundreds of lives in the KwaZulu Natal province has shocked many. The Kingdom of Lesotho passes its condolences and commits to assisting its citizens that lost lives in this tragedy. Yeah, first of all, we, we as, a, as, a, as, a, as a country, we have to send our sincere condolences to the government of South Africa. We are going to write the note verbal uh, to that effect. You know, uh, you know, uh, our condolences to the South African government for the lo loss of lives and of course the loss of property uh, that we have you know, witnessed. Motoko says they have identified several Basotho nationals that lost lives and property. As we have correctly indicated, we have got Basotho that are, are deceased, that, are, that, that, that are, have been killed you know, during this uh, tragic tragedy that has just happened in Devon, uh, seven of which have, have been identified. Five were from the one village named uh, Foreman, of which I've been informed that the whole village has been wiped off. There's no village anymore. People have been, have been uh, you know, living in the tents and churches, but like I said, the whole village has been wiped off. Uh, two are from uh, Chatsworth, and uh, two kids, two children are still missing from one family. And uh, they are yet to go to the mortuaries or even to the hospitals just to identify them if they're still alive from the hospitals uh, or from the mortuaries if, if they're, they've, they're, they're, they've passed away. But indeed, it is a tragedy that is facing South Africa. And of course, we as, as the country, we are pretty much concerned that, you know, uh, people are now homeless. They don't have, you know, one would just be having clothes that he's, he's wearing. And uh, we are here with DMA. And DMA is just going to inform the, the cabinet if indeed this is going to be called a disaster. Because, I mean, as, as we have pointed out, to us at the moment is a tragedy. It is isn't DMA that is going to declare it as a, as, as a disaster. Meanwhile, Lesotho has further learned of scores of Basotho nationals trapped in the illegal mining activities in the northwest province. We have been informed that there are approximately, you know, between 84 and 94. And there are, you know, citizens from uh, Mozambique citizens and, and Lesotho citizens. And the main dominant being, being Basotho. Uh, we have been informed that Basotho are around 80, 84. And uh, we have started, they have started, you know, uh, taking them out uh, to, to the service. Uh, on the very first day, seven were, were, were taken out. Uh, so on the second day, 16. And, you know, uh, the first batch that were, 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 was taken out was uh, seven of them, well, from, from Mozambique. Then the one the second day, 16 were from Lesotho, uh, of which two were, you know, uh, were, uh, were, were, you know, found dead, while 14 are still alive. And then on the third day, uh, 20 were removed, and all Basotho. And today I've been informed that four have already been, been, been taken out, and they are estimating to take, say, 20 today. And, you know, they envisage to have them, all of them, being removed from underground, latest by, 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 by Tuesday. Probing further on possible rooting out illegal mining activities, Motoko says several stakeholders need to hold proper dialogue so as to bring lasting solutions. You know, Dr. Katebe, uh, one has to be very, very vigilant when you, know, you we respond to uh, questions of this nature. One would say it's, it's highly organized. It's highly organized. That, that's what I'm saying, you know, for us to address it, we have to find the root cause. If uh, we didn't have, you know, one would say, buyers of the of gold, that Adam is not buying gold, Michael is not buying gold, you know, not another, another person is just going to have gold. And for us to address, you know, we have to find, find the root cause. And if we don't find the root cause, the problem is just going to be there forever. It's not going to be addressed. So you have to find the, the what do you call it? Pin, the kingpin. kingpin. Once we have found them, then the issue can be addressed. And we really don't want to, you know, put ourselves in a place, in a situation where we cannot, you know, we, can, we, can, we can't really say it, need is, it is a problem. It is African government which is to declare this as a problem. For us, we just, you know, uh, find people that are 
leaving the country and say, you know, we're looking for greener pastures. And if, you know, the South African government is not willing, and, the, you know, in particular, the, 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 the um, Ministry of Mining and, and Resources is not in a position to say, you know, we have to put this uh, on stop and have a big full stop and say, no, this has to come to, 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 to come to come to an end. You know, people just could be going there in numbers, and it's not going to stop until we find you know the the, the root cause of the problem. Otherwise, we're not going to address the problem. Lesotho has instructed their mission in Durban to provide a full account of Basotho nationals that will need further assistance and continues to monitor developments in the search and rescue efforts in the illegal mining areas. Rapelang Khadebe, SABC News, Maserolo Soto.